it was like a joke to think that dictator, former dictator Pinochet could be tried. And uh, it was even a joke when I was appointed to try him. Myself, I thought that it was impossible. First of all, because all the accusations seemed to be much more than what had really happened, according to what I knew at the time. I, I received a complaint against Pinochet, a criminal complaint against Pinochet, uh, for the crimes of abduction, uh, first degree murder, um, and so on, and a genocide. Well, I, I, I thought it was a joke. I really did think until I started to interrogate the people. And when I interrogated the people and heard so many cruel treatments, torture, uh, disappearings of their friends or, or family, well, I realized that it was absolutely uh, elementary that these things had happened. So I started receiving and receiving and receiving evidence, uh, witnesses, documents. Well, that joke turned to be very serious and it turned out to be a very serious trial. I would say that uh, Chile needed um, to apply justice towards the agents, state agents that had committed all these terrible crimes. In Chile, uh, almost 3,200 people were killed uh, due to these violations. Uh, more than 1,200 people were disappeared and uh, more than 20,000 people were directly tortured. So uh, uh, even though Pinochet died before being tried, and even though the Supreme Court tried to keep him from uh, being tried, uh, he was indicted in five occasions. Many other state agents, more than 200, have been prosecuted and convicted to long terms of prison. I'm uh, teaching as a visiting professor for a period of uh, three weeks. And um, the matter I'm speaking about is transitional justice. 